Hello everybody. Uh, the purpose of this video is to briefly uh, introduce you to OneNotes, which is standard uh, software in, in Microsoft Office 365 and probably others, older versions. Uh, so everybody has installed this OneNote. Now there are just two options. One looks like this one now, which you're looking. This is OneNote 2016. And the other one is OneNote 365. Whichever you will use, it's the same, only the layout of the software itself is a little different, as you can see. I prefer to use 2016 as it's more elaborated and this one uh, is a little more uh, compressed and compact. Now it's just a matter of personal preference, however you want. Uh, installation itself is uh, transferring the file from the server to your software uh, in, uh, on the desktop. Is exp uh, was explained already in the email I have sent. If somebody has a problem, can always reach out and we will try to fix it. Uh, there were you, some of you who had some problems, but they were managed. Uh, anyhow, uh, let's continue with general presentation. Uh, we have notebooks. Here are different notebooks, which will be shared to specific people. These notebooks are following somehow the structure of organizational structure of the company. So as you can see, uh, it follows department arrangement with few additionals like environmental. We don't have environmental department. However, we still have a notebook uh, and general, which is for all departments together. Uh, now, everybody already has access to general folder. That's why I would like to invite you to explore it a little bit on your, by yourself. I will now show briefly what it contains. It contains project information. Uh, so this, these are the notebooks. These are sections. So project info, contacts, assignments, reporting, and so on. These are called sections. These are notebooks, and these are pages and sub pages. So please note when I will be giving instructions, what is what element. So when you open a notebook, you have uh, sections. And if we go to project info section and we go to page general, you will see that we have a very general information about the project here outlined with the logos of all the stakeholders. Now let's leave out this CTC logo at the moment. It's not yet defined how it will look like. However, if you need any kind of logo, you can get it here. You can copy paste it. These logos are high quality without the background and so on. So you have them here. Then we have layouts and areas. This is brief presentation of our layouts. And here we have a little bit detailed breakdown. You will notice that we have labels here. We have lot two, lot three, lot four, five. Then we have areas E, A, B. Then we have, for instance, this uh, red circle C12, C9, C10. And then we have another circles M23, 46, and so on. This will be in the future used for coding. So that's how we will code. That's how we will code everything. Uh, engineering, procurement, reporting, planning, everything will be coded in the same manner. And all this is available here on OneNote to everybody. So there will not be any excuses that somebody doesn't know what is lot 4A C6 M23. You can always check it here and you will know where this location is. Then we have project schedule. Here in the main page of project schedule, we have schedule milestone. We have two milestones and you can see them here. Then we have desalination plant. It's a sub page and you will see very, very generalized and summarized time schedule for your 
own information and feeling about the project. Same goes for Marine Works. This one will be changed now and this will be updated each month. And all the updates will be available and the latest files will be available here on OneNote all the time. The older versions will be available on OneDrive, archived. It will be available also to designated people, designated department. <coughs> Here we have a page called Access. Here I want you all to put information about accesses. For instance, we always have problem. We come to Kuwait office and we don't know what is the Wi-Fi password. Here you have it. Which network, which Wi-Fi? Muscat office, network, Wi-Fi password. FTP access to the cloud of Alganim, here you have. Then we will have Wi-Fi of Ducom offices. We will have Wi-Fi's everywhere. So please, everybody can put this here, everybody. What I would just like you to preserve the formatting. Please keep to this standardized formatting. I don't want to see different colors, different uh, uh, different textiles, different sizes, different boldings, and so on. Please keep it keep it consistent, so it will be nice to view and easy to read. Here we have OneNote access. Uh, I made these diagrams in the manner so everybody could see who has the access to which notebook of one note. So to general, everybody has in the organization chart the access. Administration, only few people. Then we have engineering. Here is very in detail, graphically uh, shown who has the access to these folders. So please go through and find yourself. You will see which access. I will start giving access from today on to these folders. Then this is the end of section project info. Then we can continue to section contacts. Here you will again see some pages. We have ACTS and we have subpage CTC. Here you will see all the contacts. This will be updated instantly when we have a newcomer to the project. So human resources department will be assigned for this. There already exists a procedure who is doing this, there will be also assigned people. The assignments will be in detail de defined on one, on one note. So everybody will know what to do. In each of these, you will see this file here up, CTC Google import. This means you can save this file on your, uh, on your desktop, on your, on your local disk. Then you go to your Google account, you go to contacts, you can import this into your Google account and it will synchronize with your phone if you have Android. I think that everybody has company phones and everybody has Android. So you can import for Cobra Tadago, for CTC. This is here and this one, this file will be updated once per month. We already discussed this with Human Resources and Administration Department. They will be doing this. Then we have Alganim, Suites and l and uh, sub page, same story. Here you have all the contacts with designations, with, with organization, email, landline, mobile, everything. Plus, you have here the files, again, which are used to import in your phone book. Uh, if we continue, DPC says that same system only for our client. So here you have contacts, designations, again, file which allows you importing the contacts. Then you have partners. This one is still being developed. So please, everybody needs to contribute here. If you have a new partner, please put it here. I just put one here. We need to still structure this. Maybe we will make a table like this one with the details, but first I need some input and then I will formulate it in the proper manner. We have suppliers. We have sub pages list. Now I'm just throwing in, for instance, we have Taol, Contact, Albustan, Geosol, 
we will also update this one in a proper manner. We will structure it and so on. But first, we need some input. I need to see which attributes we need to add to the table, to the database, and then we will formulate it. So please, you're urged kindly to provide input here. Business cards. What I'm doing usually, I don't take hard copies of business cards because this is piling up somewhere. It's difficult to find. So what I do, I take a photo, I put it here. So we have all the business cards here. We can arrange them, we can organize them in a proper way later on when there will be many of them. We can group them into by the disciplines, we can group them by so supply type, whatever, subcontractors. So we can group them later on, but this, this system is organic system, which means it needs to grow. Now we planted the seed, now we need to water it, we need to contribute, and then it needs to grow. Then we have authorities, it's the same. We have all the stakeholders. All the authorities are here mentioned with details. Uh, as I know, this phone, uh, these contact details are already included here in this file in the page DPC says that. All this is already here. Now, how you open this file? You can open it directly, easily, it opens, you can even change it, but please this one don't change. You can change the files which are attached here. And if you save it, it will change in one note automatically. What you can also do, okay, now it's used, but if I go to another one, for instance, here we just copy paste what we are receiving from Alganim. They're also updating their communication matrix. When we get it, we put the changes in one note here, and we upload this file there as original file. So whatever you change here, what you can do, you can save as to your local disk or however. What you can also do, uh, you can change it here, you can save it and it will save in OneNote. Uh, we came to the end of this section, contacts. Uh, if we go to section assignments, this one will be somehow critical for us. Here we have pages if I collapse this one, so you can see the pages are organized as per departments. So if we go to management department, you will see Francisco, Gasper, contract manager, Tabit, executive uh, secretary. In this, we have for each department, we have brief explanation of assignments, what this department is supposed to do. So for each department, we have this description here in the main page. Then we have sub pages. We have person by person. This one shouldn't be here, so I will delete. So what I want everybody to do is to develop this assignment list. I want to see the assignment list of everybody, every single person. So if we go to administration, we have Alfredo. I want to see assignment list of Alfredo here. We have Alia. Alia already put certain activities here. Why I want to see this? When I will have all of your assignment list, I will go through, I will revise them, and I will reassign assignments which are not entitled for, indi for particular individual. And I will put them somewhere else. And I need to establish whether some individual is overloaded or not. So this is very important for us. So these are assignment lists. These are general lists. This is not to-do list. Please note. But, for instance, to do is, tomorrow I need to send a report. On Wednesday, I need to send another report. Fine. So, assignment list will be reporting to the, pro to the project management. So, this is assignment to do is something else. And to do list will be under each separate, uh, separate department. However, only for management, this is exception, to-do list for the management is here. So if we look at mine, I have here to-do list, I organized it my own way. Generally, this to-do list, everybody will have the same status, task name, notes, responsible, and deadline. So this is just generally how it should be. You can rearrange it 
according to your belief now i re rearranged it a little bit according to organizations uh, not to organizations to departments procurement planning engineering so when i give assignment to somebody i also need to follow it up so this is not the end of my liability if i assign the task to someone i need to track this per performance of this task so everybody should do the same and we can follow up here on one notes we can assign people to do something the people can respond to us and we will see how he responded i can respond to him so no emails are needed anymore at least for this part not so we can communicate through one note i give a task for instance francisco will give the task to me he will put here, Jasper, do a report tomorrow. And he will assign me responsible, Jasper, deadline is tomorrow, 31st of May 2019. I will get information that somebody did something in my task list because it will be bold here. So I will go and I will check and I will see that here that Francisco Torreblanca gave me a task and I will report back and I will write him Note that report will be sent tomorrow and he will get again notification that I responded to this and he can check he can respond to me back and please yeah, don't forget so far, yeah. And he can even drop and dr drag and drop this file here. And I will have this file here. He doesn't have to send it over email. So this is a big advantage because we're reducing the quantities of email. So then we have to go to another section. It's reporting. Here we have first procedures. Okay, this, this, uh, this one will be referring to all the procedures in regards to reports daily, weekly, monthly reports. Then we will have separate departments. Each department will have its own way of reporting. These, will, these procedures will be explained in each single department. Here, what I want to see is the reports that goes to the client, which means we have daily reports for May, and we have 18th of May here. This one will have to be updated on a daily basis by person responsible for reporting he will when he will prepare excel file he will just copy paste it here and we will have this kind of report available to everybody each day on one note same will go with weekly reports same will go with monthly reports if we go if we continue we have here minutes of meeting full uh, section this one is somehow if we have some general meetings that uh, we have to take notes, the minutes, and so on, we will put them here. Uh, details of taking minutes of meeting, I will explain in another video, uh, since it's a little more complex, but it's still very simple and very useful. Then we have section organization. Organization should be the section which everybody should know and everybody has, has to observe. Uh, here, it's very important to get an idea about who belongs where, who does what, and so on, and which people are in charge for what. So this is full organization for CTC, for ACTS, which I didn't upload yet, and for DPC, which I don't have yet. Uh, next, so next section is staffing. Here we have the list in the main employees page, we have a database, human resources database, which will be constantly updated by the human resources department. Here we have the list of all the people with all the details. This is general list, and this will be updated constantly. Then we have department by department. If I collapse, you will again, if I collapse all of them, you will again see that it is based on the department. So if we want to see project management and if we want to see myself, we open it. And you will see here, here is the signature which you have to use in your emails. Please 
use all of you use the same signature which is given in one note here is a photograph for better understanding who this person is and then we have personal dossier we human resources and management will be using this dossier to follow up where is person located since now we have four locations even five locations in oman we have tukum and muscat we have kuwait we have india we have madrid so we want to know where is the person what kind of travel arrangements are upcoming upcoming trips when which flights if the pickup is required all the contact information all the personal information and then we have passport numbers passport validity visa status for everything uh, for kuwait for oman for instance then we can attach here uh, plane tickets we can attach here passport visas and so on if i just double click i can open you will see my visa for oman and so i can follow it up very nicely uh, if we continue here we have supervisor who is my supervisor who am i supervising my presence on the project everything is in this dossier and how you can also enter to this dossier if you go to organization section where we were before you go to ctc and here you have organization chart you will see that names are actually hyperlinks if you will click on this hyperlink for any it will throw you instantly to my personal dossier and you can follow up where i am and what travel arrangements i have planned for the future next section is communication you will see here DPC. Here we have to develop this page, how the communication channels will be established with our client. Who is entitled to communicate with the client, uh, to which person, to which level, and so on. The only thing I, why I didn't develop this yet, because it's, I still don't have client's organization chart uh, to link both of them together. Uh, but anyhow, this will also happen. So if we go to CTC, you will again see communications. Here we have, for instance, I started to develop how the document control should distribute the emails or letters to our organization. The way we are doing it now is not going to continue in this form. Why? Because doc document control now generally just disseminates all the information to everyone, even to those who are not entitled to see them. It's not a matter of privacy, it's a matter of loading of emails to certain person. Then we receive 150 emails and 80% of them are not for us. And I still need to read them because I don't know this. So document control will have to filter up. That's why we have two different colors, official correspondence and internal correspondence, which means from document control, the emails can go only to managers of departments and not to the members of departments. Internally, the managers will disseminate emails to their staff members, to the exact staff member who is entitled to get this email and not to all of them. So we need to filter out who is in charge for what. Then we have delegation of tasks. Here we have a structure how the tasks are delegated. We cannot just delegate them freely. Somebody from one department saying to somebody to other department, please do this. No, this is not gonna happen. There is a rule and there is a procedure. So here you can see delegation channels, reporting channels, how the reporting shall go, through which channels. We have coordination, how the coordination should, should happen. We will be developing this also uh, for each particular case, for each particular procedures, which you will see a bit later on. Then we have here, we have particulars uh, in communication. For instance, uh, our headquarters asked us all the techni technical correspondence must be also CC'd to a designated uh, email account, ducum.doc at tadagwa.com. So these, these kind of particulars will be mentioned here. We have here subpage emailing. Please everybody read this. Here are the rules of emailing, how the emailing process should go, how the, who should receive, uh, receive the emails, who should be in carbon copy, 
uh, how the email subject should look like, uh, and so on. Please read this, follow this up. Everything is here, everything is very comprehensively written. Just you have to read. We have document control which needs to be developed, but this we will develop together. So that's why all participation is required, because everybody needs to participate with ideas and we will develop something good as a team. We have the de delegation, how the delegation should go, which means, as I was saying before, somebody on the same level cannot delegate somebody else to another department on the same level. No, it's, it's a bow. Always needs to go one level up and down, which means if we have a construction manager and from elect electrical department, superintendent wants, wants to give a task to marine superintendent, it needs to go through one level above. He cannot just directly instruct to his fellow on the same level in the, in the different department. And we should not be overstepping the levels, which means level one cannot instruct to level three. He needs to instruct to level two. Why is this good? Because Level two is managing level three and knows better what is the workload of his personnel. And level one knows what level two is doing. So these are the rules we will have to follow. There will be exemptions, there will be cases when, you know, the, it will be something urgent and so on. Yes, we can make exceptions, but generally we need to follow rules. Here will be the same developed for co coordination, reporting internal, for ACTS, for CESAP. For CESAP, here we already have certain instructions, but they will have to be formulated in a better way. Then we have forms. As you know, we have internal procedures, and here will be a database of all the forms. These forms will be also attached to each individual procedure in each individual step. However, this will be the database of all the forms. So if somebody, for instance, we have here page traveling and we have traveling request form and reimbursement request. So here it's mentioned, here is some instruction and to whom you have to send these uh, forms duly, duly filled up and signed and form is here. You can copy, paste it, save it, open it, save it as and so on. So here you have all the forms. Here you will have frequently asked questions. Here I have only one question, how to open shared notebook in your computer OneNote. So here is a detailed instruction, which I already sent to all of you uh, over email. So please read it. It's, I think it's very clearly uh, uh, described how to transfer from online office uh, OneNote into your desktop version of software. It's very easy, you just have to sign in, you have to click on the link which I send you, uh, you have to log in into your Microsoft account, after this OneNote opens online, there is on the top row, there is a, there is a link open in OneNote, click it, accept it, yes, it transfers to your OneNote desktop. So it's very simple. And here will be also other instructions. Here will be also these videos I'm making now and so on. So here will be everything. And here we have procedures. So I was asking you in the email, please give me the list of all procedures you know. Here you will have this list and please just type this one, next one and so on. Please type whatever you can think of, type. I will organize them later on. I will do the matrix, I will do responsibility matrix, I will allocate them to each separate department. We have, for instance, project execu ex execution plan. Here are the files from our tender. So what we submitted, for instance, we have here attachments to this project execution plan. As you will see, sorry, as you will see here is comprehensively described the whole project, the whole procedures, all the stakeholders, statuses, everything is described here very comprehensively. So this you can always read, you can always open up. Here we have a flow charts, we have procedures, we have everything. However, this is very comprehensive. What I want is 
to have a general flowcharts here in one note. So we will be attaching these diagrams here, section by section, page by page, department by department. I want to have everything in one note. Linked together, we can cross-reference it, but we will still have these files which have and which contain comprehensive descriptions inside, and you can always look at it. You can always open it up. But here we will have very generalized diagrams on the executive level. Then we will have also, we will have, for instance, procedures, department by department, which will be available to everybody here in general notebook. We will also have certain internal procedures, which will be included in department notebooks. But these will be internal department procedures. Here we will, we will have general procedures. For instance, for human resources. For human resources, there is a employment diagram or employment procedure already developed. I developed it as a sample, how it should be done. Uh, these diagrams I usually do in uh, PowerPoint because it's very convenient to do this there. So original file of this printout is actually attached here. So this is original file. If I open it, you will see this is the diagram. It's editable. You can edit it. You can select all, copy, paste it back to one mode. New diagram, updated one. If you edit this one and save it, it will automatically save here in OneNote to everyone. So here we have this diagram. If there will be any forms required to fill up, the form will be attached at the step we, where you have to fill up this form. Here you will have described all the steps. So first we have initiation by anyone, notes, responsible deadline. This is the matrix because for each single case we will have, we will copy this procedure, we will put it into designated folder and we will follow it up here. And we will be ticking off what was done. When is the deadline? Who is responsible? What is the status we will put in the notes? So everything is comprehensively described. For instance, we have here, in this last step, we have travel request, we have personal equipment procurement and so on. This will be another procedures and you will be able to click here on this one and you will be automatically transferred to procedures in administration who has, of course, access to administration. So everything will be linked together. It will be followed up. It will be somehow flow and everything will be clear. Here we also have for each procedure, we will have communication channels defined. This we will work out together. For instance, we have first stage initiation. We have work. Uh, we have the whole flow. It becomes initiated on certain level. It goes up and here you see it's written to, if it would be CC, this already gives you instruction. When you're sending email, you should address it to this person and maybe CC to this person. So this is very clearly defined. Initiation goes in this way. When we come to human resources, we have, when it comes to agent, we have selection. Agent will provide us and it goes back, back to initiator. Then we have decision. Again, it goes back to human resources department and from human resources department to <coughs> project management. And then when we decide who will, who will be hired, which candidate, we have deployment. And deployment will go from human resources department to agent and to candidate. And every, everything is in detail described here. And all the procedures will be here. We need to develop them and we will develop them together. I just need everybody's input. We will also have then department by department a notebook. For instance, we have permitting each each department will have to-do list. The only department which is currently using this is engineering. Rosario started to use it. He finds it quite useful. Uh, we have here general folder. In this general, we have procedures. This we will work out whether procedures will be just a sub page or procedure will be a section here. 
probably will be a section because it's quite relevant. And then we have, for instance, deliverables. Here we have all, this is the master deliverable list. And this master deliverable list will be done in Excel. However, on a monthly or weekly basis will be updated and transferred here in one mode. So you can, the whole department can have overview of what is going on. You don't need to search on your disk. You don't need to search on, in emails. You go in one note. Everything is here. This is the full database. Uh, it's very traceable. You will have all the time latest information here. Procedures I have here, it's not like a procedure, but this general will be definitions. Definitions, maybe this page will be called definitions. For instance, I didn't know about the engineering coding. So what I did, I asked somebody, I asked Rosario, please define what is code A, what is code A1, code B, and so on. He explained me what is this. Now it's available to everybody because I put it here on one note. So everybody can look at definitions and we'll see what means code B. Here we have deliverables. Okay, then we go to to-do list. We have to do general to-do list and here we will have department assignments. Now this one is a little different. Here we have a general assignments and here we have responsibilities defined. This will be a bit different. Here we will have general department assignments and then we will have person by person. This will be personal to-do list. And here the manager of department can give assignments to his personnel. It's very easy. Uh, I can go and I can tell Brito. I know that he needs to do the interviews now for the mechanical engineer. Uh, as a matter of fact, I should not be giving tasks to Brito because this is against the procedures which we define. We cannot overstep the levels. If I'm level one, Brito is level three, I have to give task to level two, which means I should give task now to Rosario, and I can put here to Rosario, Brito, Brito, or I can generally say, selection of mechanical engineer is required. I put here who is responsible, Brito. And then Ros uh, Rosario needs to follow up with Brito. Rosario can reassign this task to Brito and follow up with him. I shouldn't. So this is the system we will be using. We can attach files from disk. We can go to disk. For instance, just one randomly. I can copy it. I can go here. I can give assignment to Rosario, task assignment, and in the notes I can copy and paste this file. I can copy and paste as a link. I can insert the file, attach a file. Okay, now I cannot do it because it's in use. So what I need to do is Maybe take another one, this Primavera file. I can just copy and I can paste it here and it's here and he can download it. I, I don't have to use email again. And it's here at hand. So when I'm doing something, I have everything at hand. And then I can report back and then Rosario can report back to me. He can check when he did this task and he can report to me, Gasper task completed. And maybe he can also explain how it was done. Uh, so this is how, this is how somehow the, the department's uh, notebooks will look like. But you have to develop it yourself. We can cooperate from this, but it will be developed. Uh, so as a general presentation of what is the content of OneNote is now completed, uh, there will be another, there will be another videos uh, which will comprehensively des describe all the operations within a certain section. It will describe maybe some operations, maybe some possibilities of one note. Uh, and you can please read it, uh, explore it, listen, view, and please start using it. Thank you very much, friend.